Hello everyone. Okay, so we want to create a nuke-like shuffle copy node in Fusion and be able to pull out data information, RGB data, later down the chain and reuse it without having crisscross country uh, splines. And I'm about ready to show you how to do that. It's a, it's kind of a hack. I admit it's not really intended for the node that we're going to use, the Boolean node. It's not really its intent, but it's what works and I'm going to show you how to do this. So uh, we're going to go ahead and start with a Boolean node. These these planes is my background and because I'm a nuke guy I like to work top down. So I'll put my background in the top and my foreground in and if we look at it it looks like my planes. Our two mats that we're going to be using are the RGB image here and the roto mats that I've converted to R, G, and B here. So you got rotos and then you have an RGB image. So this RGB image could actually be a regular image or it could be an image map that's mapped to RGB for mats. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is go ahead and leave all these here as is. We don't need to touch those. We do need to enable our extra channels here. Now from materials to Z buffer, we cannot use those are very specific colors and so therefore those are out of bounds. But from U all the way down to Y, disparity to the textures, we can use those as RGB information. Now you have to forget the names of these and just think of them as blank textures. I know this is gonna get really confusing, but because we can't name our own channels, we have to keep track in our own heads which channels we use and we are converting. So in this case, we're gonna use U, V, and X, texture, texture, normal and remap that to a red foreground, a green foreground, and our blue foreground. Okay, so now we've embedded this image here into our chain. Now we want to embed this image into our chain. So let's just go ahead and copy, paste. We've already done the majority of the work. We don't need to do it again. And we've already used these guys. We can't reuse it again, so we have to start with the next three down, which is Y normal. So I'm going to go ahead and put that to red foreground. Go ahead and put these back to do nothing, do nothing, and do nothing. So red foreground, green, and blue foreground. So Y, Z, and BG red to these individual channels. Now, if we look through, through our end of our pipe we should see our background which we do which is good so now this is the part where we start comping our big big comp so let's say we had a color correction for whatever reason we want to you know change the hue a bit or use our brightness contrast look at it uh, take down the gain a little for whatever reason and then suddenly we need to do a blur and we want to use this mat here, this R mat. All right, so we can bring our Boolean out. All right, so it looks like our plane, but we, would, we just need to use that R mat. And that R mat was put on the UV texture, uh, U texture, our foreground. So we need to put this alpha on that same one right here. I believe that's the same one. So if we grab a blur, yep, it is. There it is. There's our R. So if we grab this blur, pipe our mat through it, and blur it, and look at that. We have our R that we pulled all the way from up here. Okay, so big change. Now, we want to suppose, we're going to let's pretend this is a RGB image, an actual RGB image uh, not that doesn't just say RGB, but an actual RGB image. And we need to put it on top of this. Whoops. All right. So again, we pull out our chain and set this to do nothing. And then put our red, green, blue channels into our U V and X. So there we go. So now 
we have this asset all the way down here without crisscross country lines. All right, and we need to put that on top of our planes here. For whatever reason, we want to use it as a foreground image and let's say we screen it on. Okay, so we've now pulled that image out. And if you want to pull out this image, it's exactly the same method. Let's get our Boolean, put it in the foreground. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. And on this one, we used, what did we use? We used YZ and BG red for our red, green, and blue. So let's set this to Y, Z, and BG red. And now again, just like this one, we pulled it out down at the bottom of the chain, and now we can use it for whatever purposes we need it for, whether it be mats or if it's an actual image or what have you, then we can use it. So that is how you basically create a shuffle like, shuffle copy like node in Nuke, I mean in Fusion just like you do in Nuke, and you can use these assets throughout the chain without having to have crisscross lines and keeping your comp nice and clean. So I want to say I want to merge this on. And I'm just going to go ahead and make this a screen as well. Okay, so that's how you do it. And hopefully that'll help you in keeping your comps clean. And good luck with it. And if you have any questions, just email me. Thank you very much.